Hi, and welcome to the Fall 2021 AMC 10A playlist. Remember that these solutions are not the only ones possible. They just show the reasonably efficient solution that I first came to. Now, once the exam is over, it's always fun to compare and find the most elegant solution, but during the test, you're really just working to find your first efficient solution. I hope you find these methods helpful in developing your own problem solving style. So let's begin with problem 10 from the 2021 AMC 10A. A school has 100 students and five teachers. In the first period, each student is taking one class and each teacher is teaching one class. The enrollments in the classes are 50, 20, 25, and one. Let T be the average obtained if a teacher is picked at random and the number of students in their class is noted, and let S be the average value obtained if a student is picked at random and the number of students in their class, including that student, is noted. What is T minus S? All right, so it looks like we're going to take two different types of averages and uh, calculate the difference. Now, this picking at random is a bit confusing. So instead, why don't we sample each of the five teachers once and each of the 100 students once to form the two different types of averages. And I think that should work out the same as some random process that they're suggesting. All right, so for the five teachers, if we list out how many students are in each of their classes, we'll come up with uh, 50, 20, 25, five, sum that up, divide by the number of teachers, that's equal to 20, and that's the variable they're calling t. Now, if instead of the teachers we're asking the students, then in the first class we'll have 50 students, each claiming to have 50 students in their class, so that's uh, 50 times 50, for the second class, we'll have 20 students, each claiming to be 20 in their class. 20 times 20, 20 times 20, 5 times 5, 5 times 5. So that is 2,500, 400, 400, 25, 25, sum that up. 3350 divide by the number of students polled. So that's uh, 33.5. So that's the variable we're calling s. We want to calculate t minus s. That's uh, 20 minus 33.5. That's minus 13.5 for choice B.